what is biblical a meditation? Blessed is a man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law he meditates day and night. Psalm 1, 1 to 2. What is a meditation? The concept has been corrupted in modern thought. In the minds of many Christians, meditation is associated with Eastern religions, like Hinduism and Buddhism, belief systems that don't acknowledge God as Father, nor Jesus as Lord and Savior. This association leads many to believe that meditation in any form opens the mind to evil spirits or untrue teaching. But that robs us of an important way of interacting with Scripture. When I began staying home with my kids, I was overwhelmed. While I suspected such an endeavor would be hard, I wasn't prepared for the ways it challenged me. My daily time in the Bible kept me rooted in Christ. My weekly Bible study kept me digging into scripture. But the thing that reasoned me that I was in Jesus' hands was meditation on his holy word. What the Bible says about uh, meditation. Since the concept of meditation has been appropriated by other religions, We've lost an important and meaningful way of interacting with Scripture. The Bible mentions 23 occurrences of some translation of mediate. 19 of them appear in the Psalms, and of the 23 and 20 refer specifically to mediating on the Lord in some way. We are told to mediate on his actions, law and testimony, all of which are found within his word. There are several words in the Bible that translate as a form of mediate, <clears throat> depending on their context, including speak, utter, study, imagine, and use. There is often an instance of it being translated as sin, my f personal favorite. The Bible uses med meditation as deep contemplation, a turning over and around in the mind to gain greater understanding and be changed by God's truth. True meditation is a tool of learning. I can be abused, yet instead of avoiding it, we should use it with care, biblical understanding, and respect. What biblical meditation isn't? Biblical meditation is not sitting with an empty mind, mindlessly repeating a single word or phrase to gain some sort of altered state burning candles, or sitting calmly on a rug, or listening to some glorious music, practicing yoga. Biblical meditation isn't even primarily for relaxation. Although you may find it calming and comforting, it's not about controlling your breathing. Although there may be times when deep breaths are helpful. It's never mindless. Instead, meditation means that you, that your mind is focused on God and His Word. What biblical meditation is? Not only is biblical meditation about
of focusing on God through contemplation on His Word. It's about quieting our hearts with Scripture and deeper intimacy with Jesus. The particulars of biblical meditation can vary, but the practice isn't complicated. A meditative practice that helps us is sitting quietly and thinking over a passage, piece by piece, breaking it apart and dwelling on each word and line of scripture. I will not be surprised if many of us, even those who scoff at the concept of meditation, have engaged in it without realizing it. If you ever sat with a scripture and gone over it repeatedly, trying to understand each word, you meditated. If you've ever been compelled by a sermon or passage of scripture to sit and think over a single attribute or testimony of God, you have meditated. If you ever felt tempted and brought a scripture to mind, going over it repeatedly to gain God's strength and rest, you meditated. Meditation implies wonder and thought, remembering the Lord in all His glory and pondering Him in the fullness. I will remember the deeds of the Lord, yes. I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O Lord, is holy. What God is great like our God. Psalm 77, 11-13 The difference between the meditation and reading. When we do our daily Bible reading, we're acknowledging and strengthening our communion with God. In that regard, our daily reading and scripture meditation are the same. Bible meditation also shares a similarity with Bible study. Like Bible study, it's meant to take a lingering look into specific aspects and context of Scripture. Where daily reading is our regular nourishment in God's Word, and Bible study is meant to deepen our understanding of that nourishment. Bible meditation is learning to savor every morsel of God's rich, vibrant, life-giving scripture. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes, I will not forget your word. Psalms. Think of Bible meditation like slowly enjoying a piece of chocolate, letting it melt in your mouth, paying close attention to every nonsense of flavor and texture. Like a thoughtful experience with well-made food, meditation brings delight in God's holy testimonies and character, and that delight inspires even more meditation on His Word. While Bible study educates and convinces the mind, Bible meditation persuades and entices the heart. In the hardest time, I mull over what God has said, reminding myself of His justice and goodness. This settles my soul and turns my eyes from my immediate troubles to His eternal grace. Thank you.